Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, my, name is, my name is Tom O'Mara. I am the uh, online learning project manager for University College Cork. Um, so for the next 15 minutes, I'm going to talk you through our uh, presentation, uh, uh, our proposal for the transformation of true collaboration of building digital literacy in HEIs. <coughs> So this is a slightly older presentation. I updated it uh, this morning, and I didn't quite get a, a version of it to you. Um, the partners on this project are uh, University College Cork, uh, which is leading it, so that, that would be myself. And joining me on the left-hand side here, then, we have from IT Tralee, um, we have Dr. Tom Farley. From Cork Institute of Technology, we have Dara Coakley. From uh, Institute of Technology in Carlow, we have Damien Raftery. And from Waterford Institute of Technology, we have Laura Widger. Um, so because we're short in time for 15 minutes, I'm just going to, I drew the short straw and I'm up here going to speak through the presentation if that's okay. Uh, I may defer it to the guys uh, if you've got particular questions as we go on. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, so the presentation that you sent, just one slight change on it, um, is Tony Murphy's name was in uh, for IT uh, Tralee and in fact it's actually Tom, uh, Dr. Tom Farley that's here instead. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so what will the project achieve? So the project is about collaboration to achieve digital literacy. So what we hope to do is we want to continue the work done under phase one of the Teaching and Learning Enhancement Fund. So we've done some work on that already. I'll reference it in a few minutes. Uh, there's a bunch of us working on projects there. So we want to build on that, uh, take content and take ideas that have already been developed, um, and then use those in what we're doing. We want to bring together the expertise attained in the Southern Cluster uh, Higher Education Institute. So the institutes represented here today at this presentation are a HEA uh, Southern Cluster. Um, around the area of building digital literacy among capacity among staff, but also looking at effective engagement with learners and students um, by using online tools. So how do we do that? Um, we hope initially to begin uh, increasing the digital literacy of participants, um, and ultimately the project will be uh, a sustain hopefully provide a sustainable uh, route uh, for the ongoing development of digital literacy in higher education institutes in Ireland. So we don't see this as a one-off project, we see this as being a stepping stone, a launch pad, if you like, uh, for building capacity in the future. <coughs> so I've used the headings that were provided on the guidelines. So how will we achieve it? Well, initially we will identify academic staff in each of the uh, locations, each of the partners, uh, partner locations, uh, and then we will facilitate learning uh, needed to successfully integrate technology into their teaching. The staff that we've identified and supported will then become champions for the improvement of digital literacy skills, thanks Tom, uh, within their academic discipline, but also within their department and ultimately across the Southern Cluster. So we see uh, greater collaboration across the institutes. So as we develop expertise, for example, uh, in IT Carlo, well then we might see those uh, experts uh, consulting and talking to, for example, people in Tralee or people in Waterford or people in UCC. So really it's about developing that community of practice um, around digital literacy among academic uh, staff. This project, if we're successful, will document the journey the champions take and provide a map for others who wish to follow in their footsteps. The timeline we proposed, um, <clears throat> and I suppose we were struck a little bit when we looked at the uh, guidelines for the proposal and we spent some time discussing it, um, it's quite short. Uh, and I know one of the feedback questions on the, uh, on the proposal was um, having the digital week in uh, the middle of February or the end of February um, is very short and how will you teach people uh, to a sufficient point by that time. Um, we understood that we had to have digital week um, by the end of February. So we very much saw the digital week as being a culmination rather, or sorry, a launchpad rather than a culmination. So in, in November and December, depending on uh, funding, we would look to assess the digital literacy skills of the academic staff that we want to recruit, and we would set up a project website, um, a pretty basic project website, we would, we would say. During December, so after exams, and we look at exam boards and we get a little bit more time with the academics, um, we will identify the champions within each of the institutions, and we will have some collaboration. We haven't uh, clearly defined exactly how we're going to define, uh, how we're going to find the champions. In UCC, for example, um, we have a waiting list of academics and schools and departments uh, looking to get supported by the instructional design team which I lead in UCC. So, you know, if you asked me today, I could list five or six academics across UCC that would, um, with very basic uh, digital literacy skills, who want to work with us uh, in, in, on this project. In January, once we've assessed, once we've identified the champions and we've um, assessed their, their skill sets, we would divide, design individual learning plans. So we see this, we were discussing this quite a bit. So because we're five different institutes, 
we all have different uh, st strategies, we all have IT strategies, we have different needs. So for example, we don't use Adobe Connect that much in UCC, but I know it's used in other institutions and they have needs around training for that, which we wouldn't need perhaps in UCC. Um, we use Blackboard, other people use Mahara and use Moodle, so there'll be you know, varying training needs required across the different institutions. So everyone would get a very individualized uh, training plan. <clears throat> We also see, for example, if you've got, I know, for example, in UCC, if we have academics who want to go on a particular training course, if we want to uh, address particular learning outcomes, well, then there's probably a bunch of other people who, in that institute who would also uh, benefit from doing that as well. Between February, beginning of February and June, we would provide training. So you can see already we're getting close to digital week and we're only beginning to do the training uh, in February. The training, what we're looking at doing is to run it across uh, across. Um, partners, so actually to share training, so using tools like online collaboration tools um, to share. So we might, for example, run a session in UCC and we would actually stream it and everyone else would participate in an online discussion afterwards. Uh, any resources we would develop would go up on the project uh, website. Um, so we're very much looking to uh, efficiencies of scale between different institutes. From January to June, um, sorry, digital week, phase five is digital week, which runs from February to 22nd to the 25th. So what we have discussed on that is that every day we would, um, each institute would take a different day and would run a series of events in that institute which would be streamed for everyone else to participate in as well, culminating um, in, in, um, at the end of the week in some sort of roundtable collaboration between the institutions online. Um, so, that, so for example, in UCC we run a digital day every year where we bring together academics across the university in, uh, to one location. and. Um, we get them to showcase what they've done, and we then begin discussing uh, with um, people who attend that what they want to do in the next uh, in the coming six months around their CPD needs. Um, so very much we see the digital week as being um, uh, a collabor collaborative exercise um, that we would share um, expertise over the week. But from January right the way through to June, because the project won't complete until uh, June, the champions will be putting learning into practice. So we don't see this as a finite training thing. We see this as something we don't. We gradually support people. We give them the information they need to get them up and running, and then we'll continue to support those people right the way through to June. So we want to see them putting the learning into practice. Um, with a final summary day sometime towards the end of June that we can agree, which will be recorded and documented uh, as the final evaluation. So one of the questions, again, on the feedback was around how do you propose evaluating this? Uh, and I'll come to that slide in a minute. Phase seven then is uh, from December, for right the way through the project, from beginning uh, until June, we would document the learning journey and, the journey and disseminate through the project website. Uh, one of the questions was, how do you promote? Um, how would you recruit champions? So each of the, if you look at our proposal, you'll see each of the institutes has uh, existing teaching and learning strategies. And we have digital learning and digital literacy strategies as well in different places. It's, what we would do is it's part of our ongoing activity. So all of us uh, that are here today representing this proposal, uh, we're part of ongoing training uh, development within our institutes. Uh, so we would see this very much as fitting into that. We would use existing structures, so existing training structures. So within UCC, for example, we have a whole range of different training structures. So we have a uh, learning technology unit that does some training. We have a t uh, uh, the Office of Vice President for Teaching and Learning, where I work, also do some training. And we have various other different training functions within the university. Uh, we would integrate into training programs and CPD events that UCC are running <clears throat> and the other institutions are running as well. Use newsletters, uh, email, social media, word of mouth, uh, that type of thing. <clears throat> so evaluation. So the question that was asked in the, in, on, the, um, on the proposal was how would you evaluate this? Well, we, have, we will have uh, initial um, assessment results of the champion's digital literacy skills. And <clears throat> Waterford IT, for example, have already developed a tool that we're looking to, uh, um, I suppose, adopt for our purposes. So we'd have those um, baseline results and we'd see what the, what the competencies of the staff are. We would do surveys right the way through training. We would do surveys across institutions as well to see if we could compare uh, metrics across institutions. We're looking to document using video. So when you used to see, for example, we have an audiovisual media services team, um, and I'm just beginning to work on that. My previous background was I was a TV producer and an e-learning developer in commercial. So I'm looking to use video a lot more in UCC, and we've begun discussing that across the institutions about, you know, video snippets, uh, vox pops, um, recording uh, journeys in that way. We would record all training um, and digital week events, and we would stream them wherever possible. 
Uh, and we would also reference various different partner studies and other research. I know there's a, a ton of research being done within UCC, for example, and talking to the other institution, uh, institutes, we're also aware of other research that they have conducted. So the two comments that, as I said, that were mentioned on the uh, proposal were how do we engage the champions? Um, one of the questions, I suppose, was about, yeah, it's all very well dealing with people who already have made the decision, and we made this point in, pre in, our, in our proposal, actually. Uh, you know, it's, it's very easy to deal with people when they've actually decided they want to engage uh, with technology and work with you. Um, increasingly in UCC, we're seeing a lot of uh, pressures being put on from an income generation point of view, from uh, people wanting to do more with less within across the departments. So there's, there's pressure from the top down, and people are being forced to come and talk to us more and more. Uh, that, literally, that's growing. So at the moment, we changed the structure of online support in UCC back in June this year. Um, and we're already, we've recruited two new instructional designers and we're under pressure uh, to, to get more people in. So there's a huge demand um, within UCC and certainly talking to uh, Tralee, Waterford, Cork, uh, IT and, and, uh, and Carlo, we know as well that there's, a, there's an increasing demand for training there. The digital week timing was questioned and again, uh, that's down to the proposal really and down to the guidelines. We would quite happily be will willing to consider moving the digital week back uh, into June or into May if that, um, if that made more sense. Um, we, but we very much see the digital week not as a culmination of training, but really as a launch pad. So we really want to put people up there and say, well, you know, I'm Professor John Smith, I'm lecturing in epidemiology, and I've never used technology before, but I'm hoping to use Adobe Connect uh, to stream uh, and capture some of my lectures or Panopto or whatever, or, or, or create a different website. Um, so those were the salient points. I'm just looking at the time. And that really is it in a nutshell. Is that fair enough?